I made is about a book which we uh, printed it just from print house several days ago, and this is a, a result of conference which was uh, organized by, by our institute with, with uh, all specialists, colleagues from different countries. Usually when we present our books, we ask one of the colleagues uh, to read the book. This time we asked to do it Dr. Vahram Dermatenosian, who is program chair and associate professor of political science and international affairs in American University in Armenia. And he will present this book. We live in times of great uncertainty. I think currently what is going on inside Armenia and outside Armenia <coughs> makes us to think about Karabakh and uh, conflict resolution perspectives uh, more often and more deeply. Um, so I guess from that perspective we have a very interesting book here uh, which has 10 authors and 10 perspectives. One of the things that um, stands out in this volume is uh, about the role of the OSCE. So apparently uh, there are different um, perspectives uh, how o the OSCE functions and the authors have different uh, perspectives on it. One of the critical ones is uh, presented by um, Tom Deval who is basically criticizing um, the OSC, but at the same time is saying that OSC is an underfunded organization. It has a very complex structure, decision-making institutions, and the principle of decision-making is very complex. Do not expect much from the OSC. And he's also trying to make the readers understand that uh, OSC didn't become a pan-European security organization, and its job is to produce uh, a framework and a form the party should feel the context. One of the things that I guess is missing in his um, uh, approach is what if the parties are not able to produce uh, and to feel the context. Another thing that stands out in this uh, book is um, um, decoding Azerbaijan's policy perspectives, the strategic goals, and formulating his positions. And um, especially uh, the, the, the articles by Iskander and uh, Lawrence Breuers and Tom Deval, um, their, article, uh, their articles address this question. So basically what, um, what can be taken from this? N number one is, um, they're basically giving at least four formulas in how to formulate Azerbaijan's uh, position. One is maintain uh, Azerbaijan's involvement in the negotiations while at the same time using a military toolbox to put continued pressure on the Armenian, par on, on the Armenian parties. The second one is um, bankrupting Armenia into submission. The other one is growing power asymmetry with Armenia in wealth, military spending and demography. And uh, the formula that persists in Azerbaijan is that Azerbaijan has lost the battle but it's winning the war. So one of the things that especially um, Iskanderian is um, putting forward is um, peace negotiations, peace settlement is no longer viewed as a realistic goal by either Azerbaijan or Nagorno-Karabakh. Again, um, this position somehow contrasts some of the arguments that are made in the, in the book. Uh, another aspect is uh, the 2016 war or four-day escalation. Most of the authors agree that it was a failed blitzkrieg and the other one is that blitzkrieg is not possible in the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. Uh, Loris Brewers uh, brought, uh, he, he brings um, three reasons for the, to explain the 2016 war and that is uh, oil, decreasing oil prices, uh, Turkish-Russian relations and the Lavrov plan. So what he's saying that is, especially the, the last one, the Lavrov plan, was that Russia, uh, uh, because what the Azerbaijan Aliyev, the Aliyev regime, was very interested in um, pushing Armenia to accept the Lavrov plan, and that basically failed, according to um, Lawrence. And on the other side, he accepts that in 2016 war had minimal impact on the negotiation process. And Armenia's deterrence was successful. Another thing that stands out in the book is the terminology. Um, 
So the frozen conflict, this term is gone forever. We cannot uh, find in any place and for, for good. The, the term that is uh, used more often is low in intensity warfare. I guess this uh, term um, is more accurate and, then, and I, I think it's good that most of the authors shift it to this um, term and it better depicts the problem and the severity and the frequency of the escalation that exists.